Hey everybody, Eric and Chris here from Around 2 at RC. We've got a new radio for you guys. We heard about this thing at E-Fest and we heard good things and magically one appeared. And Eric and I are going to do a real quick overview of this radio for you guys. So here we go. That's right. We did get to see the radio at E-Fest and this is the latest and greatest tactics radio. It's a 6 channel 2.4 gigahertz tactics radio. It's the TTX 650. And we could probably talk about this radio for an hour. We're going to try and make this short and sweet and just go over the highlights of the radio. And then later on after I get more comfortable and use the radio more, we'll get more in depth with it later. But for now we're just going to hit the quick highlights of it and then go from there. Yeah, sounds good. So who's this radio made for real quick? It's made for the intermediate level sport pilots and it is capable of flying. Uh, you're capable of using this with airplanes and helicopters. Sweet. Yeah. So we got six channels. Six channels. Right. Okay. All right. Um, you got, let's start out, let's just tell them a little bit about the radio. Go ahead and turn it on, Eric. Okay. Tell them a little bit about what you get. Okay. It's, like I said, it's a six channel 2.4 gigahertz radio, which is SLT compatible. Which nice. Is, which is very nice. Uh, it's, an, it's another great feature of the radio. And uh, you have a large LCD display with all your menu uh, buttons right here on the face of the radio that you can quickly access and change any one of your settings in just no time at all. Best part about this radio and the most important thing we can say right here to you about this radio is 20 model memory. 20 That's model memory. Thing. That's right. 20 models can be stored in this. With the older Tactic radios you were only available uh, to use it for one yeah. radio or one model at a time and then you had to reprogram it, flip switches or whatever yeah. to change models. But with this one you have the 20 model memory. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Really cool. Okay. So let's go over the features real quick. Okay, we, we'll, we'll go over that. Like uh, Chris just said, 20 model memory, easy to use push button programming, uh, airplane and helicopter ready, dual rates and exponential, uh, digital trims with slow and fast adjustment, user selectable switch assignments, and you have reversing in-point adjustments for sub trim on all channels and the wireless trainer feature. Well, we like the wireless trainer feature. That's something that, that's not brand new, but it's something they kept in this line, and that's fantastic. Um, but we do want to talk about, real quick, um, just a little bit more in depth about the user selectable switches. Tell them about that real quick. Good point. For the timer, you, it can count up or count down. And when it got to asking me what switch I wanted to use, I simply moved the throttle switch. And I set it at about 25% to come on and below 25% to go Just off. Turn the timer off, that's awesome. Yeah. That's really nice. I mean, yeah. that makes things so easy. It sure does. Yeah, dummy proof. Well, for you maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but let's talk a little bit more about the SLT part of that. Okay, tell me, yeah, tell me about the SLT, okay. what that means. SLT stands for Secure Link Technology, and this radio is compatible with any of the transmitter ready models that Hobbyco sells already that you can find on the Tower Hobbies website. Nice. So that means we well, can kind of pick that out of the picture? Right. The AnyLink. Now remember I flew the Beaver yeah. using an AnyLink device and a DX8 radio? Yeah. Well, you don't have to use this anymore. Yeah. So this is really out of the picture. Yeah. Because you can, throw your, you can throw 20 models on here. Why do you need to do that? Yeah. It's just not necessary yeah. anymore. That eliminates the AnyLink radio adapter unless you just are particular about what type of radio use system that you use with yeah. your model. Yeah. But you can now use the Tactic TTX650 yeah. with any of those SLT compatible receivers. This is a very nice radio. Right. You, let me give you a real quick rundown of the transmitter functions. You've got, we talked about model select, you go through and select whatever model you want to use right. and then manage each model however you want. Right. You've got your digital trim for every, mo for every right. uh, channel basically. Um, channel 5 and 6 assignments can be switched around. You've got your wireless trainer function that we talked about. We've also got a charging port there that you can use NICADs or nickel metal hydrides. Although it comes with four uh, AA batteries, right? AA batteries? That's right. Four AA's. If you don't want to burn through alkalines and be paying for that, you can set that up. It looks like a four or five millimeter uh, pole switch, but uh, I mean a uh, receiver, but not that big of a deal. But one of the things that I see on it that I really like is we've got a firmware uh, input here. Right. Why would they have that? Now, I like that right there, uh, and that allows you to update the programming that's in the radio. And this is a new radio, 
And I'm sure down the line after a lot of people get these radios, they're going to find out what they like and what they don't like about the radio and maybe some places for improvement, which I'm sure they're going to incorporate in some later versions of the programming. And they allow you to do that by updating the firmware with a, a cable on yep. the side. Yep, that'll be easy. So yeah. um, the radio comes with all kinds of uh, audible warnings that you can set up for right. um, timers, that sort of thing. All of your channels can be reversed. You, you've actually got digital sub trims mm -hmm. in this radio. You've got uh, travel limits. So if you want to set up a limit on your flaps because you're danger to your servos or right. whatever, you can do that. You've got dual rates for um, basically aileron, rudder, elevators, for the people like me that need dual rates, you got exponential, which is easy to, easy to set up. I actually watched him do a little expo for me so I could fly this very easy. That's right. And of course we talked about the timer and you got a battery timer, an overall battery timer as well. Um, this is a helicopter and an airplane uh, uh, radio. I'm going to talk about the airplane function because I don't know anything about helicopters, but That's right. you can set up whatever type of wing, whatever type of uh, tail right. you have on your airplane. You got your throttle curve, your throttle cut for those of you who want to do all that stuff. You got your aileron differential and your mixers that we've already talked about right. and programmable mixers. And Eric's going to tell you about the helicopter functions because I don't know anything about them. Well, I actually haven't set up a helicopter yet, but I've actually went Well, you kind of did. Well, you have a quadcopter, but I've gone through the helicopter settings, and for those people that are heli enthusiasts, I think you're going to enjoy this radio system a lot. And I'm going to read from the, the product flyer here. You have uh, several different types of swash settings that you can use. Uh, you have throttle cut, throttle hold, throttle curve, pitch curve, gyro mixing, swash mixing, a swash limiter, uh, rudder mixing, swash ring, and programmable mixers. Yeah, so basically a lot of mixers, a lot of a lot of yeah. cuts, a lot of holds, all that yeah. stuff that you helicopter pilots need. Right. So, I did uh, notice today when I was playing around with the helicopter settings that uh, some people that like the five point throttle settings, it's easily programmable in this radio by simply adjusting the throttle and hitting one of the menu buttons along the way. So very nice. It's very easy to set up. And I set up, like I said, I set up the 1SQ in like less than five minutes. Yeah. So what's this radio going to cost, America? Well, you know, I really don't like to talk about pricing on any of my videos because prices can change over time. But let's just say right now that this is a very affordable radio and for the money, you can't beat this radio right now. I agree. I so, agree. But however, I will give a link to this product in my video notes for the Tower Hobbies website. So after watching the video, you can go to my video notes, check out the link, go directly to towerhobbies.com and look at this radio and read all the product specs there. And it should be out mid-March. Mid-March. Any time so we're now. Looking, we're looking at any time now. Any so. time now. Check yeah. those notes out, people. Yeah. Yeah. And I think this is a really cool radio. I Me really too. did like it. You know, uh, some of the other things, it's got ball bearing gimbals on it. Yeah and yeah. it has anodized red aluminum sticks yeah, adjustable. That, that are fully adjustable and the tension is adjustable on both sticks so for those people that like smooth operation you can adjust it yourself uh, and quickly and easily or for people that like it really tight either way you can have it set up the way you like the radio yeah, that's nice yep okay well uh, I think that's about it for uh, the radio review right that's right it's uh, what time is it <laughs> it's time to go fly the one SQ. Yeah, we're going to go have some fun. That's right. Okay, well that wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed the quick overview of the new Tactics TTX 650 radio and look forward to some more videos from me soon about this radio as I use it. Okay? And as always, I'm glad you got to see me. Man, me. And we'll see you later on the two. Sounds nice. You don't have to do that. <laughs> Just messing around. Let me think of my teeth. No. <laughs>
right into the camera.